you know why human beings are the most unhappy of all species we are no no species on earth is as miserable as man is because we have the curse and blessing of thoughts right and with thought what comes concern for appearing we have stopped being content in being uh, hmm? we have stopped being content in being and we have got lost in needing to appear so mothers these words very often we come across uh, i don't know them exactly but it goes something uh, do not pretend be what you are and then there are three four more lines i forget them you remember them yeah but again and again she says don't pretend and we are not even consciously pretending if you if i ask you or anyone else you'll say i'm not pretending i'm living because it's become a natural state we constantly need to appear a certain way to people or to ourselves to be content and when we don't appear in that way we become unhappy right whereas a plant an animal doesn't think it doesn't have a need to appear it rests in being it is what it is it doesn't have to think how it should be to be accepted it just takes it that there's no question of acceptance i am what i am so this need to appear is something that really is a catch 22 for us isn't it and a whole life we spend wasting time trying to appear when we can just be and appear to whom actually every mind you're trying to appear to is not really there we've gone into that many times no that every my mi- mind is really a mental construct so you're wasting t- even your mind is a mental construct for some of us we need to appear a certain way to people for some of us we need to appear a certain way to ourselves but whether it's my mind or somebody else's mind it's a mental construct it's not really there if you know what i mean it doesn't have an ontological existence ontological means in being in present moment being it doesn't have an existence so we are wasting our life and making it the goal of our life to appear a certain way to phantoms and rumi says it so beautifully that no eye but his has ever looked upon the universe and in his eye each of us is always beautiful no he's become us so if we are already beautiful in that only one eye which truly exists why do we have or why are we hypnotized into appearing a certain way to eyes that don't even actually exist it's a question to ask ourselves right and that's the lesson we can take from plants they have no need to appear to anyone and because they've dropped the need to appear they are just so beautiful even a child before a child develops a mind it has no self regard no self look it has no need to appear in a certain way to anyone that's why it's so beautiful to us the moment the need to appear comes pretension comes a beautiful thing loses its beauty na no?